Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is February the 16th, 2020, and here we are. We're going to go ahead and give you all a real quick video about Ethereum, give you all the price update, prediction as to where this particular cryptocurrency is anticipated to go. But before I do, if this is your first time coming to this particular channel, make sure you hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe to this channel. Also, you want to tap that bell notification so you become notified whenever we upload our videos to this particular medium. So now let's get into this real quick. You all can see that our last price prediction for Ethereum was on or around February the 6th, 2021. We anticipated some strength to continue to the market in Ethereum. And obviously you guys can see over the last couple of days that the trap has in fact placed a lot of the trades and price action well within our TP area. So hopefully you all was able to grab some of that TP out the market for Ethereum, at least the high which came in on the 13th of about uh, 10 and a half percent. So congratulations on those who was able to cast the movement in Ethereum higher since our particular forecast. Now, as always, that is over, that is completed. So what we need to do now is get rid of it and try to get in the position of the trap's next anticipated price move. You all can see over the last four days that the market in Ethereum has definitely hit some weakness. It has rejected of continuously price movement higher in price on a daily time frame. Let's take a look at the market real quick in Ethereum on a three day. You can see right here on a three day time frame that the market as well is losing a lot of gas and momentum to continue to increase that price. I say that because over the last three three day price bars, the market in Ethereum has not made any higher highs. In fact, we're finding some restriction in the market in Ethereum right here around 1800, almost 1850. OK, so we need to keep that in mind as we continue to see this market in Ethereum trade in the long term. Looking here on the five day time frame, you all can see here that the market here is giving us some weakness as well, albeit it is not that weak. And also, before I go on, I wanted to talk about the three day time frame again and talk about the volume. So let's go ahead and look at this on the three day time frame. You guys can see at the bottom of the chart that the market is not hinting at a lot of volume what is going on as the market in ethereum saw increased movement higher in price as we saw the market trek alongside that ascending line the volume was decent it was there and now we're seeing the volume drop off while we're trading around 1850. we need to question that we got to ask the question well why is that are we losing a lot of the money to continue to increase this price maybe so you can see a little bit better even on the weekly time frame that the market in Ethereum is losing the volume. Volume is the gas that continues to push price higher. And once you see the market decline on volume, you ask yourself the question, especially while we're trading around all time highs in the market for Ethereum, what is going on? Obviously, we're losing a lot of demand in this space for Ethereum. So real quick, looking here on the 90 minute chart for Ethereum, you guys can see for the most part, there's not a lot going on. This particular currency is just simply trade within a range. We are also noticing that 18, I'm sorry, $1,700 is where the market is trying to hold support. Okay. So we definitely need to watch that as we continue to see this currency trade over the next couple of hours. Okay. $1,700 definitely needs to be maintained as support in the market for Ethereum. So what we're going to do on this particular forecast, we're going to continue to play the weakness into the market, but I've already told you that we're not seeing that much weakness. So we're really going to focus in on the trap trying to come in and prop up the market around $1,700. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Bring this up here. And we said we're going to short the market. We're not trying to take it long. So let's go ahead and place this on a chart real quick so I can let you all go. $1,700 is crucial for the market and Ethereum to hold support. Okay. So we would definitely TP the market out in Ethereum around $1,700, which would be about uh, 3% would be the profitability if for us to skim off a little bit into the market in Ethereum. But ultimately, I could see us coming down to our ultimate TP area, which is around $1,500. Okay. I'm sorry, $1,600. So we're going to hold that there in the market for Ethereum. We're expecting a little bit of weakness to come into this particular cryptocurrency. Not a lot at this particular moment. But if the weakness continues like we've seen over the last four trading days, we will definitely see a, a little bit more emphasis in weakness. All right. So now it is your turn. What do you all expect? What do you all expect to see into the market for Ethereum? Let us know with a comment in the comment section. As always, make sure you maintain a profitability. Now you know what to do. Trade different.